history lesson so I, I don't want anybody to tell you anything personal it's just all facts you know like grandpa McCoy said no brag just fact so we're gonna take a look back at the death of a rivalry the first meeting was in 1894 with Texas winning 38 to nothing and we can't see, oh, the that. We can't see anything was it probably still is the third longest running rivalry in college football history Texas won the first seven games all by shutouts. Texas continued to dominate the series until the mid-80s. In fact, from 40 to 78, Texas won 33 out of 38 games during that time. The Aggies did come back and win 13 out of 21 games in the 80s and 90s to make it a little bit more exciting. However, since 2000, Texas dominated again, winning nine out of the last 12 games. In addition, the overall advantage, Texas enjoys a 25, 22, and 2 record at Kyle Field. The last meeting, the death of the robbery, occurred November 24, 2011 at Kyle Field. Hey Mike, you got anything to say? 11-24-11 at Kyle Field. University, the University of Texas, 27, Texas A&M, 25. A perfect ending. Do you want this recording? Overall <laughs> record, 76, 30, 75 in favor of the University of Texas. Thanks for all the memories. Now, in the past few months, there's been way too much trash talk about the SEC. And I've been waiting for the right moment to address that. The right moment has now occurred. And this is where we're going to have a little history lesson. We are Texas, and I'm going to tell you how you spell dominance. This is UT, Aggies, and LSU. Of course, we have our neighbor from down the street. Yeah, oh, man, Mel, come Mel, on Mel, here. But Mel, yeah, Mel, get over there, Mel. Mel, 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 Mel played football now. for LSU, but now claims to be for UT, but he calls me every other hour telling me how good LSU is. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had a neighbor like that. We're going to start up here that Texas Ooh, holds the NCAA record right. in mm -hmm. the history of college football for the most winning seasons, 106 winning seasons. Texas also holds the record in, it, in hey, the NCAA. Do I get to no, oh, it's no, you do afterwards. Fact. Texas holds record in NCAA for being ranked in the polls for 162 consecutive weeks. All-time record: Texas 850 wins, Aggie 674, LSE 721. Texas dominates. Winning percentage: Texas 72 percent, A&M 60, LSU 64. Texas dominates. National championships: four, one, and three. Same again. Conference titles: Texas only has 32, A&M 18, and LSU 13. Postseason bowl record: Texas is 25 wins, 22 losses, two ties. Aggies 13 wins and 19 losses. LSU barely has a winning percentage at 23-19-1. Heisman winners, two for the University of Texas. Aggies and LSU only have one. Consensus All-Americans in school history. Texas has 53, A&M 20, and LSU gave it a good shot at 41. Now we're, let's look at the head-to-head -head record. Well, this is Texas, so much work. Texas, Texas uh, as an overall head to, uh, record. That's why it's known as a robbery, Mike. 76, 37, and 5, with the latest being 2011, 27, 25, with an average score of all of those games, 19-4 for Texas, 12 for A&M. LSU, a little closer. 
We won. We won nine times. LHG's won seven. Again, Texas wins over on that. The latest we played LSU was in 2003 Cotton Bowl. We beat them 35 to 20. Average score there is 14.792 Texas advantage. <laughs> Some more notables to point out is since 18, 1893, Texas overall record ranks second behind Michigan in NCAA football history. Wow. Texas and Michigan have only gotten to play once, but we beat them when we played them. <laughs> Texas also ranks second in NCAA history for bowl games at 49. We also are in third place in NCAA history for all-time ball records. Also, at this moment, Texas currently has more active NFL players than any other college football team at 42. Uh, <laughs> next slide. <laughs> so how does Texas match up to the mighty SEC? All right. Oh, well, let's take a look. Texas holds a 95-win, 46 like class. Ball. Four-time well, record, all-time all against the SEC. And that's how we turn over we our foster children Texas, to another how Texas conference. Fared against yeah. LSU and soon to be A and M. But what about Alabama and Arkansas? Okay, Texas is 56 and 21 against Arkansas. <laughs> Average score: Texas 23, Arkansas 12.5. The latest game was in 08. Texas won that game 52 to 10. <laughs> Texas is 7 1 and 1 against Alabama. He left it out. Latest game was January 7, oh. 2010. Oh. Alabama did win that game 37 oh, 21. That was their only. <laughs> that was their only win against Texas. The average score though is Texas 16.9, Alabama 11. The fact is Texas holds a significant advantage over all other conferences. Now, looking ahead to the future, Texas does have the number one recruiting class in the nation coming next year to join up with the 22 freshmen that beat the crap out of A&M and Field. So, now, for the flag raising ceremony, I have a surprise for you. Wait, whose flag is that? This, we brought uh, it from the hoppers. Uh, this is Nancy Hopper's flag. She wants everybody to know. <laughs> that's because Rodney oh, doesn't have a flag right because down. he's been too because embarrassed of his team no. all no, year so long. He stole my damn flag. He stole my flag. Hold on, just a second. Hold on. His house. This whole thing is illegitimate. Yeah. Yeah. Are you talking? Yeah. Right. Well, you brought me into this. Yeah. So here's the deal. So as far as LSU goes and SEC, uh, now that we've seen the accomplishments of, of Texas, I uh, just want to congratulate the uh, Big 12 on congratulate oh. Texas. Texas has given us a, a record to shoot for, and we hope that we can be you know, competitive. competitive and <laughs> hope we can be as good choice. as Texas. We're going to take, we're going to take A&M, and we're going to try to you know, get their program going. <laughs> and, you know, but, but they have a lot to work with, okay? So uh, I just want to congratulate Texas. They can cook chickens. Texas, that we, you know, we hopefully one day we can be as good as Texas. Okay? Uh, I, have one, uh, I have one thing to yes. say. Oh, yes. uh, there you go. go. <laughs> it's basketball season. <laughs> <laughs> we are better than Texas. <laughs> there we go again. Come to the game with me. I'm going to do some more poster boards. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. Okay, the surprise I have for you. Okay. The bet normally is the winning team's flag is on top with the loser below upside down. For the last game, a and flag will be underneath Texas, but it's going to be right, right side up. Yeah. 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 And, and I need a consolation. And I'll tell you why. I was at Kyle Field, and there were 88,000 people who wanted to hit me in the mouth. <laughs> Except for you and three other people that defended my honor to root for my team. So, out of respect go. to Mike and his family, we're going to fly the flag the right way. Nice. Yeah. 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 I'm really glad it came to the game, by the way. Oh, yeah. Put him up. All right, got to get to the flagpole. I want to see this. Here we go. Oh, hey, no. hey, 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 h
Yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> The next time we play, <laughs> three days, <laughs> three, days. <laughs> three full days. My house, that's three, it. Three full days. <laughs> hey, since we started, here's, this here, wait, here's all the research. <laughs> <laughs> hey, since it's Learn it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it's happened in the last six years or something like that. We're dead even. Thank you all. I'm glad I know so many longhorns that will come to my front yard and watch me be humble like this. Thank you very much. Good night. Stop. We don't need you. You need us. So like I said, quit lying, Texas A&M. Stop lying on everybody and quit using us as leverage to get more, you know, uh, money or whatever you're doing. Because we don't like you. We don't want you.